years of fighting to stay afloat. They were nearly part of the millions of small businesses that didn't make it through the COVID pandemic. Now they're opening a new spot in the Hy-Vee Arena. The floor in the middle of the room still needs a final layer of lacquer and a grand opening is still a few weeks away. But for Street Styles Academy students like Mary Ford, this new space already shows how far she and the Academy have come. I've always been kind of more like introverted. So six years ago, Mary found Zante Warren and Lucas Kirby's Street Styles Academy, learning a bunch of different styles of what they call street dance, picking up lessons outside along the way. I would say the biggest thing that they get out of uh, what we teach them is confidence. That mission and the business around it was going well when in early 2020, the Academy got a big space near Power and Light for its roughly 100 students, just as the world shut down. When we finally hit that uh, 100 mark, I would say, that is when the pandemic came and we came crashing down. It was really tough. You know, we went from 100 students down to eight students. It meant downsizing. There's a lot of standing from the families they worked with and hard work to build the business back. Now they have about 40 students, letting them rent their own space in Hy-Vee Arena, where they also have access to a gym and two venues upstairs for shows and competitions. It's a big piece of good news for students like Mayor. I feel like Dance has been has made me um, better at talking to people, better at communicating. These things are somewhat of a superhero power, and they bring smiles to people. So when you're able to bring a smile to other people, it actually makes you smile. It makes you feel good. And economic data shows it was smaller businesses like Street Styles Academy that suffered from the pandemic more, and now are taking longer to recover. The same data also shows that businesses owned by non-white people also tended to have a harder time staying open. Now coming back. Another 